Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple dish, um, the chicken cooked with fresh methi leaves. Um, normally in Indian restaurants we use a lot of the dry kasuri methi, uh, but I've been very fortunate to go out to the local Asian supermarket um, during the lockdown and they actually did have some fresh uh, methi leaves. So um, I picked it up in two ting. Um, so um, they had various different uh, vegetables and it was a beautiful shop but extremely busy for this time. So obviously um, I was very fortunate to get my ingredient. Um, I posted it on my Facebook page and I've had a phenomenal response and people want to see the recipe. So rather than just writing it and sending it on my uh, Facebook page, I thought why not put it on my YouTube page and um, release the video and hopefully everyone can enjoy it and hopefully follow along uh, with the tips and in the restaurant we use a dry kasuri methi um, which is very flavorsome and I'll I can tell you if you don't have the fresh methi you can also use the kasuri dry methi no problem whatsoever but with the fresh leaves oh my dear it's beautiful and it's gorgeous very flavorsome very tasty and uh, hopefully you're going to try to recreate the dish at home so today a chicken methi dish for you guys Right, this is the methi. I'm using fresh methi. There you go. If you don't have fresh, you can use the dry uh, kasuri methi. In fact, I'll show you. There you go. That's the dry kasuri methi. Um, I think you can just use about one handful towards the end. Um, I'll tell you when. So I'm using fresh methi. It's going to have a phenomenal spinach-like uh, texture. Bismillah. I'm going to turn the gas on. Put my pan on, wait for this to heat up. I've got my mom helping me, she's cutting the kasuri methi. One, two, three. That's about four tablespoons of uh, just vegetable oil. There you go, my mom's chopping the fresh methi. Sun is shining. There you go, beautiful weather outside, although we can't go. Right, the oil is sizzling because there must be a little bit of moisture there. So now I'm going to add some punch prawn. You don't need to add this, but this brings out a nice flavour. Yeah, My mum always uses um, just a couple of pinches whenever she's cooking. It's a traditional Bangladeshi uh, garam masala and it just brings out a nice fragrance. Get out of here. So it just brings out a nice fragrance, so maybe that's why I always add it as well. So now we add in some cardamom, four of these, just uh, smash it and just put it in. Um, the Indian uh, cassia bark, which is the cinnamon, and about uh, three bay leaves, they go in. Now we add in freshly grated um, garlic, uh, that's about one tablespoon and one teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. Yeah. Uh, my mom's saying uh, with the methi we also have like uh, like a spinach so just with the methi it's actually very nice as well so here you go that's gone in now we're adding salt I'm using about one kg or just under one kg of chicken so I'm gonna need one teaspoon but I'm just gonna add just one and a bit salt to taste guys there we go, that's gone in there. Now I'm adding the onion. That was one medium sized onion. I'm going to put the gas down. Normally I put in the onions first, then the garlic and ginger. But I'm following my mom's method here because her methi dish is very nice. So. There you go, when you caramelise uh, the garlic and ginger, it has a totally different flavour. There you go, that's going in there. So I'll put the gas down to about medium low. And I'm going to wait for these two, for the onions just to sweat out its moisture. It's on a slow gas, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put the lid on. Uh, make sure it's on a slow gas, yep. And let this cook for about five to ten minutes. Right, so the onion's been cooking away for the last ten minutes on a very low gas. 
Uh, you could cook it on a higher gas, but you would have had to add a bit of water, which I didn't want. Um, so now the onions have softened up beautifully and it's also got that caramelised flavour and the fragrance as well. Now for the spices, um, these is just a general teaspoon of coriander powder, uh, two teaspoons, two teaspoons of curry powder, just your normal curry powder. Um, half a, sorry, one small teaspoon of the turmeric, um, two teaspoon of chilli powder. If you like it more hot, this is going to be medium, uh, spicy sort of medium, but you can always add a bit more, so about four teaspoons or three. And um, half a teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of garam masala. So that all goes in. I'm also not adding the tomato puree. Normally I add tomato puree. So I'm gonna follow it to how I used to enjoy this dish. Just add a bit of water. So I'm gonna let this spice cook out. low gas and let this cook for a few minutes so we just got one small tomato that goes in this will thicken up the sauce slightly and as well just make give it a nice little color I'm gonna put the gas up to a high heat add a little bit more water and I want this spice to cook out and come to like a thickened sauce. Right, the masala has been cooking away for the last five, six minutes. I've been mixing it here and there. The tomatoes have, um, there you go, have softened up. Now to add the chicken. So this is just less than one kg of chicken. There you go, that goes in. Now the chicken releases a lot of liquid. So what I'm gonna do now, I've cooked the spices uh, for the last five, six minutes. Now I'm gonna need to cook the chicken, let the spices penetrate the chicken and it's gonna release some liquid and then I'll know whether to add water or not. I don't want it to be a very saucy dish, but it needs some sort of sauce. And from the methi, it should release a bit of liquid as well. So now, chicken's gone in, given it a nice mix, put it on a high gas. Now I need the chicken to cook about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Right, the chicken's been cooking away for the last couple of minutes. Needs a lot more cooking time. The chicken's cooking away beautifully. Right, that's been about 10 minutes. Beautiful, you can see some oil over here has risen. So it seems to me the chicken has released a fair amount of liquid. So what happens is, once it releases its liquid, then, it, then the curry obviously dries up. Now if I was cooking a boona, this would have been ideal. But what I'm going to do now is add these lovely, there you go, methi, beautiful. This is gorgeous. Bismillah. I used to really enjoy this dish when I was younger. So. I've done it to how my mum cooks it. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Being a chef, we always had this fancy this, that and the other. But I kept it really simple. There you go. So. Now what I want, give it a, about 3-4 minutes. And I want the methi just to wilt away. Right. If I was to be adding uh, the kasuri methi, 
I probably would have just added about, about like a handful like that and just crush it and just whack it in and then put the water in obviously. Or I'll put the water in first and then the kasuri methi, no problem. So right, I'm putting the gas up now to a high, medium high and just wait for the spinach to wilt and then I'm going to add some water as well. Right, it's been a few minutes. It's wilted away. There we go. You saw a quite a lot of methy, and now it's hardly anything. Look at this. It's a beautiful colour and the fragrance is absolutely amazing. Now you can cook it like this, like a Buna style, but to be honest with you, to enhance and maximise on this lovely methy, add in a bit of water just for your dipping in if you're having a naan bread. I'm going to eat this uh, with chapatis and rice. Go. So it's been about um, five minutes uh, since I've added the methi. Now all I'm going to do, this was about just under a cup of water, but you can put in as much or as less. Try not to put too much because that's going to take away the flavour. So that was about one cup I've added to just loosen up the curry. Go. Now at this point, I'm going to add some green chilies for a bit of flavor. So that was about four bird's eye green chilies. Look at these, amazing. So I'm gonna let this simmer away for another five minutes. Put the lid on, medium heat and let that cook for a further five minutes, guys. This is the chicken methi, bubbling away. Beautiful, look at that. The bay leaf, the green chilies, the lovely fresh methi, tomato, chicken. Beautiful, look at that. The cassia bark. Which is the Indian cinnamon. Absolutely beautiful. Right, beautiful people. The methy's been in there for the last 10 minutes. I put some water in. Wow. Amazing fresh flavour. And um, that's methy. Oh my god, it's beautiful. There you can look at this. Look at this. This is gorgeous, delicious. Absolutely beautiful. There you go. Now, what I'm gonna do, that's some tomatoes. That's just to look pretty and gorgeousness. And then some fresh coriander. There you go. The sauce is nice enough over here. Now I'm going to put the lid on and put it on a slow gas and cook this for a couple of, uh, about 3-4 minutes for the tomatoes just softens up slightly. Right, curry is nearly finished. There you go, bobbing away, the tomatoes are softening up slightly. Now I'm going to add my favourite ingredient, just a drizzle of mustard oil just for a bit of flavour and fragrance. There you go, a couple of more minutes and you'll be ready. Right, the curry's ready. Look at this. Beautiful, that's the chicken methi. If you've enjoyed watching this, please don't forget to like, share, and make some lovely comments. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe for more fantastic um, content. We're gonna enjoy this. And hopefully you're going to enjoy this at home as well. 
Thank you very much. See you soon.